Hello all. Welcome to part 36 of the Wireless LAN Security Mega Primer. In this video, we will look at various insecurities which may creep in into your wireless network because of third party utilities. So what do I mean by that? Well, almost every client card ships with its set of drivers and a utility to actually run the card, right? Especially for Windows. Now, typically this utility is provided by the manufacturer and the only extra advantage is that it shows you a lot of other interesting things about the card, uh, like the power levels, like the operation mode of choice and things like that, right? But what I've seen, at least in my experience, is that if you use these utilities to configure the security uh, of the wireless LAN with respect to your client, it's generally a bad idea. And I'll show you one of the utilities and you know what are the different security mistakes it actually makes while configuring uh, the wireless network. Right. So in my humble opinion, I think you're always better off using the utility which is available in your operating system by default. Right. So let's actually go and figure out what I'm talking about. So I have a Windows machine here and I have my D-Link DWA 1 to 5 card all installed. And if you notice the manager is going ahead and showing me two different networks. So let's say I want to connect to the security tube network. It says this has advanced security settings. So I need to add a profile manually. So if I go to my wireless networks and say new, I could add a profile and this could probably be, let's just say peep uh, and then SSID as you already know is security tube. I think am I writing it properly? Security tube and this is a WPA2 enterprise network. Advanced settings, well I could just keep it at auto. Now notice something very very interesting. Uh, let's just say just click OK to this, right? And we try to go ahead and activate this and even try and make a connection. What you may actually notice is that it might not work properly. But if you go ahead with the configuration even more further, here is something interesting. Uh, once you let's say select EAP peep, See the options it gives you MS chap V2. Now but the by default options are very important. And this is where what typically happens is that probably the user knows maybe he needs to use peep and at most you may say, well, this MS chap V2. Now this validate server side certificate is not really mentioned, uh, not really checked by default. So let's say if we had just gone ahead and just keep this as the configuration, right? and let's say activate it or whatever and now if I were to open up my wireless network say clicking on open connection sharing manage wireless network if you notice it has automatically created a profile here called EAP profile so additional information needed you know, where you could actually enter, see it's automatically connecting in the background, won't probably work because the server is probably down. And I, the whole idea is not to really show you how to connect with the third party utility, but something different. If you look at the security, what you would notice is that validate certificate typically on Windows 7 uh, is enabled by default. And a lot of, of these options have been disabled, right? The most worrisome is validate certificate and in the advanced security settings, well, I guess this is something which is unique to Windows 7 currently from what I understand. Uh, the options are okay, but I would say the basic worry of using, for example, this utility, at least in my opinion, is a user who doesn't understand much and who's probably just following a very uh, simple to do step would miss the fact that he needs to validate the certificate, right? 
and this is where other even if let's say he remembers to do this other things are forgotten so as an example i guess it's not updated it yet let me just select this and click activate right and now let me go back hopefully it's saved it now well it looks like there's even more a little bit of a bug here where it's not even enabling the certificate validation by default anyway that's all for this video uh, just in the end what I'd like to show is even if you went ahead and uh, deleted this profile right it it just automatically appears after some time if the utility is is running anywhere in the background and you will just see that in a in a minute right now if you notice it just appeared <laughs> so what is happening is this is creating this insecure configuration all by itself even if you kind of go there figure out that well this is something which actually needs to be removed entirely right so you remove it as the administrator you are probably hoping everything is fine uh, but it's still going ahead and running and automatically creating it now the interesting thing actually is that even if you go ahead and remove this program which is running in the background so let's say you can quit the wireless manager and remove this from the profile right let's wait for a bit If you notice, the manager doesn't seem to run, but the profile again has automatically been created all by itself. So probably what is happening is there must be some service running in the background, which probably is not shutting down, even though I have actually killed the manager process. Now this is very worrisome because, you know, uh, someone who may understand may actually come remove this network maybe even add a new one but the network will automatically appear after some time if the service is running in the background and it does not give us at least anything which we can visibly see that it is running in the background so something funny more of a bug i would actually say uh, but this is one of the reasons why at least i would encourage you to use the os's default uh, utility to configure wireless network security rather than using third party utilities. Right, so that's all for this video. Very simple one. Just wanted to point out uh, that third party Wi Fi utilities may not be the best option, even though you know you may be tempted to use them because it's some of them have a very good and beautiful looking UI, but most of the time their default configuration is insecure. And uh, a couple of times, even if you try to correct it, well, things may continue to remain wrong as we just saw. Right? That's all for this video. Thank you. Bye-bye. And please leave your comments behind before I forget. And of course, if possible, please make a donation.